Right now, a Dayton community comes together to stop the violence with a block party. Good evening to you. I'm Kenan Oliphant. Dave DeMarco is live with what today's party was all about in our top story at 6. Dave? Kenan, today's block party was a joint venture between Dayton Police and Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, an effort to end the violence that's been plaguing several communities here in the area, including the neighborhood surrounding Lexington and Rosedale, where a store clerk was shot earlier this year. Now, this block party just wrapped up in the past hour. Here's what people were saying as they rocked out to the music of Michael Jackson. People say we have a lot of violence when it's hot outside. Well, I like to see us take this heat and turn it around and make this heat work for anti-violence. Those are the young folks that are not doing what you're supposed to do. It ain't happening no more. I am a Dayton Natonian. I was born and raised here. I have never seen things go on as it is now. We must do something. We have to come together as a neighborhood and community to get these young people to understand that life is worth living. Quite simply, any level of violence in a community is unacceptable, and particularly as it relates to gun violence. That is more to life than taking each other's life over a little of nothing. Stop the violence. Increase the peace. Let's win this back one block at a time. You know, if you got a problem, a crack house on your street, don't tolerate it. Let's all work together, get it shut down, and get the guns off our streets. Now, the community initiative to reduce gun violence's goal is to reduce gang related homicides by 25% this year, and they plan to accomplish that by hosting some more block parties throughout the summer. We'll let you know as soon as all of those dates and locations are finalized. For now, reporting live at Dayton Police Headquarters, Dave DeMarco, 2 News on your side.